What's going on, YouTube? It's episode two of Curse of the Dead Gods. I hope you guys enjoyed the first one. If you haven't seen the first one and you found your way to this one, stop, wait, pause, hold on. There's episode one. You've got content before this. I'm going to let you know. If not, proceed with caution. This is episode two. Episode three will be coming later this week, this Friday. We've got more ready, locked, and loaded for you guys. It's a first impression, first time playing this game. Back to back, we did the first one, and then we went right into it. I just couldn't help myself. Right into episode two. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. guys welcome back we are thoroughly addicted and entertained already we need to get back into this welcome on in episode two episode one we went through the very beginning bare bones and got clapped by let's look at his oh, wrong one let's look at his name in the codex over here the blood hunter himself at the end of the jaguar temple we ran into this man who took us out. We're going back in. We're looking for revenge. We have, I think, a looks like a claw blade and a dagger and our trusty torch. Oh, wow. What's events? Unique try event. Escape from your worst nightmare. Fear permit hallucinations and infest house. You lose all sense of direction. Plus two, complete room, plus ten, epic. Oh, wow. That's, that's really cool. All right, we are going to go into the, the same place as we were before. And we are going to start out smart with gold. And we're gonna build for late game. Getting this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I got him. What is this? Warrior's Codex Relic. For swords. We don't have a sword, so we're just gonna offer to the gods. Reduce some of our corruption for now. Alright, we got more dudes to face. What's up, gentlemen? How you guys doing today? Ouch. I didn't think that was gonna hit, not gonna lie. I can see why they wanted the, the dodge there. I can see why, because parry and then dodge would be here. What's inside? Oh. I offered it to the gods. Minus four corruption. So last time, I noticed that I was not managing my corruption well at all. Oh. I will take this. I still get a claw. It's just a better one. Than what I had, see? Main weapon claw, main weapon claw, venomous fangs, poison attack. I like that. Okay, okay. I'm into this. Give me something different every time. And I'm not really favoring anything so far. I liked the shield. We go unknown or we just go for gold? 
I mean, I don't want to eliminate a whole path to go to an unknown. I'm gonna go more gold. I don't feel on like I absolutely. Wow. What? These are so strong. Oh, you're gonna go down. Corruption. Beautiful. Come into the light, my friends. Like that are you gonna go though I like poison suits my f Ooh, temples heart regain 4% of your max health when you pass through a door gain gold now we're gonna actually take this uh, we're gonna take that relic because we're already gonna be good with gold right now we started out with a high amount of gold and we made sure to start attacking gold stuff right away. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be alright with that. I don't feel too bad. Can I open these? Oh, okay. What does that give me? Oh, a sword. Blazing Blade. Fire charged attacks and fire combo finisher. We are going to offer that to the gods. Minusing some corruption from ourselves. Outer Rim Search. There's another chest right here. Looks like they all seem to be right across from each other. Ceremonial Dagger. Secondary weapon. 30% base damage per point of perception. This is awesome. Plus four. Oh, man. Dagger, dagger. We're going to take it. We're going to stay with this combo of Claw Dagger for this run, I think. Unless we find some... Really, really obscure, cool, like, cool, cool thing that uh, we don't mind playing with. I think this is a good spot for it. I know it's in the way for the map, for the uh, camera, but right now, obviously, it doesn't cover up too much. All right, so we either go... I thought we just did... Am I, am I confused, chat? Was that our first gold? Alright, did I miss something? Alright, maybe not. Alright. So if we go this way, it goes weapon, weapon. Or weapon, upgrade, healing. We don't necessarily want a weapon. <clears throat> what if we go gold, attribute, gold... like to go for the relic we go gold yeah, let's go this way gold weapon upgrade and we'll go towards the attribute relic and the upgrades that way even if we don't want this choices abound chat Oh my god. Oh boy. A 
I'll take some heals, please. Thank you. I forget. I gotta time their attack better. I just really need to time the attacks better for these guys. Obsidian Fragments, Relic of the Eagle. 15% damage against weakened enemies. Oh, if I parry them, <clears throat> more damage to them. Or I can restore some health. We're gonna restore some health. There's our door to get out. I thought I was supposed to go to a weapon. Chad, did I just... Did I miss it? Okay. Move it on. On the way to all right. Ooh, that minus corruption saved us right here. Dang, Chad, we got corrupted. That was a difficult task. That was a difficult task for me. Man, my health. Oh. Not anything I really wanted. I wish we could get a reroll on these. Two-handed primal hammer. Two-handed bow. Kill increased movement speed for five seconds. I want to do a bow run. Swift bow seems dope. Um, Whispering Aegis. Can I... Uh... Oh, I'm already going to get a curse. Anyway. I was really hoping that I could, like give it up and they'd be like oh yeah here you go here's your monies uh we'll go for the upgrade we skipped out on the weapon we're gonna get cursed one time temple's bite temple's traps come to life as if following the beat of a silent drummer sounding death's march spike traps are now triggered automatically and sequentially oh no Up, 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 up. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 
No corruption from you. How? How? I didn't know he was going to do that. Going for the quickness. These skulls are hard to come by, it seems. Alright, we can upgrade the claw. Removes one corruption for each enemy killed. Oh god, that's great. Uh, plus 3% base damage per point of perception. 3% damage to uninjured enemies. We're going to offer gold for this. Uh, corruption removal sounds amazing. We'll see if we pay. We made the right choice. We paid the right price there. Uh, and I am going to go this way to healing, and then to the relic, and then to the upgrade again. Oh, man. I mean, we might as well go full, right? We're gonna get fully corrupted and we're gonna touch this door to get more corruption anyway. We already knew that. Oh, I forgot. We get healed going through doors. Shadow flame, uh-oh. Even the light and warmth of the fire can be touched by the cold embrace of darkness. Some blazers burn with a dark flame and cannot be lit, uh-oh. Great. My safety has become less safe. Big dodge, boys. Wow. The moves of an amateur. Those, the wives scared the poop out of me. Okay, so I am going to dodge roll in. Dodge roll in. Turn back on the lights. I get really nervous that these things are traps. Your power sucks, dude, just so you know. Whoever gave you that power needs to give it away. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're gonna take that. All healing effects get better for us. Whoa, whoa, I've never seen this before. What is, okay, 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 this is dope. Wow. Wow, I keep saying this. Don't. This is gonna be a. How many times in the comment section did I say wow, or this is dope, or this is so cool? Bless my heart and hope to comment down below. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Hope you guys enjoying the content here. With the barely average gamers. 50% Ooh. I mean, we already. That's already great for us. And this perfect dodges restore one more plus four perception. That's really good. Consume to restore fifty percent of your max health now. Consume to restore fifty percent of max health when taking a fatal fatal blow. 
So this gives us two curses, but will give us the ability to come back to life. I'm gonna go with the, uh, I'll offer the gold for that, the fang. We're doing poison damage, let's go with the poison build. Let's keep it up, let's play a little safer earlier on. No need to risk it for the biscuit quite yet. No need to risk it for no biscuits. Let's go for the upgrade. Let's go for the upgrade. Get out of here, dude. Alright, so that can't be lit. Nothing around there can. One down. Get away now. So that was the effect of my curse. That big thing that was surrounded in darkness. Um... Go for the fangs, right? Cool, keep doing your thing. Whatever that's gonna do for me, I don't really know what that does at this point. I just know it's helping me a little bit, I guess. And I think this is the champion. So we go back for our revenge. Shall we get our revenge, barely average gamers? Let me know if you think we're going to in the comment section down below. All right? If you haven't watched to the end yet, and we're right here, right now, in this moment, you let me know, yes or no. Here we go. I have an answer. Papatunde's blade will get you! Don't you worry. Got him with that ceremonial dagger. The power of Papatunde flows within us. Yeah, dudes. Blood priests. Yeah. Those dudes are intimidating. Not. They ripped blood from that dude, but that poison we had on him clapped. It put a fear into them, which in the likes they put into me. Six new blessings available. Blood emblem acquired. Alright, so you can start with the sword and pistol at all times. Or you can go with the blunt claws and braided whip. We unlocked another slot. And, ooh, what is this? Brutal Temper, Blessing of the Jaguar. 
Killing multiple enemies within a three second window activates fury. Deal 50% more damage for six seconds. I like that. Traps deal more damage. Fire illuminates further. This is a good one. Gain fury. Greed kills restore one more stamina. I like that. Gain five constitution at the start of your exploration. One constitution at the beginning of each room. Your health is below 50% of its maximum. The five constitution thing is great, I think. Uh, five dexterity at the start of your exploration. Any perfect dodge triggers haste, increased movement speed. That's really good. Any healing that exceeds max health is turned into gold. That's awesome. I love that. Your corruption threshold increases from 100 to 120 at the start of exploration. Wow. Wow. What? Chat, I didn't move over to weaponry, altars, or favors. Wow, I'm a bot from earlier. We have 15 jade rings. We can unlock weapons. Silver stars, jewel hammers. Oh, what? Finishers and charge attacks interrupt regular enemies' attacks. Deals critical damage when only one enemy is nearby. Charge attacks send a wind lash. Critical damage. Oh my. Claws of evisceration. Chat. Fire attack. Warmonger's claws. Oh wow. Find and equip this weapon in the temple to reveal it. Okay. There's pages. Wow. Wow. Weapon altars in the main hall offer gear before... We can restore altars. Mate, what is this? We can get another altar, main weapons, upgrade, basic quality, no ability. What? Oh, wow. This is blowing my mind. Divine favors let you refresh the gear offered in weapon and relic shrines. Unlock more divine favors to increase the number of times you can refresh the choices during an exploration. After each exploration, you regain all of your divine favors. All right, well, I can't move anywhere else, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna restore an altar. Because that had to happen. What? Jaguar bow, fire attack, poison attack, serpent bow. Oh my goodness. Make sure you guys tune in next time to see what weapon we unlock and choose to go through on our third attempt at playing through i'm assuming that we get to go through a different path or a different part we beat the that temple maybe we could rebeat it again we'll see where we're all where we are and what we can do i'm excited i hope you guys are too considering hitting that like button the follow button all of the bells everything like that helps us tremendously here glad to see you guys enjoying this content until next time guys be always grinding